defining moment's about um, it's about a main the main a main guy. He basically he grew, grew up in a small town in uh, South Africa. Not really someone that has a chance in making it big or anything. But he has an opportunity that gets him out there, gets a big name, gets a lot of money, whatever he wanted. But he had to, of course, like, of course, if you have an opportunity, you can't just get anything, everything you want. You have to leave something behind. So he left something important behind, which he took with him for 10 years now. So then, um, basically, he goes back, he meets up with whatever, the girl and everything, goes back to the relationship, they hook up, they come together again. Then I, Tim, ruins everything. It's perfect, love it. And I um, bring back the opportunity back into uh, to Matthew, where he needs to go back, he needs to go back to his um, richness, he needs to go back to being the actor that he's supposed to be, make money, make make it big, and yeah, don't want to say any everything because you have to watch the movie. He's always thinking about money. That's his main thing. He wants to make money. He wants to have the best for Matthew, the clients, and everything. Uh, what I love about Tim is he just he's just out there being himself. He, he's always making himself look good. He always wants um, to make it seem like uh, he is the most, like he is the he is in charge. He is in charge of. Uh, controlling his clients and everything. But what I don't like about Tim is he's quite, he's kind of a bastard to put it out there. He's, he doesn't care about others, he just wants what he wants. He doesn't think what, uh, what's best for others. I think all characters are hard or difficult to play because it, there's a lot of thought going into it. Sometimes you think, uh, do I really sound like this character? Am I really this character? Sometimes when I say the line, I wonder, is it really what he would say? I don't know. It's a lot of thought going into it. I would say it was, for every character, even Tim, it was hard, yeah. My favorite character, I would say, is Matthew, because um, his storyline is I would say it almost, it has a similar story to mine, but not really similar, similar, but it's more like uh, a dream, mostly. Um, he had an opportunity to make it big. He went for it, he made a lot of money, but he left something very important behind. And I also have been asking myself this question, that what if I make it big, but I have to leave something behind? And with this storyline, Matthew kind of made me realize that money and fame is not really everything. Um, I think what, what's more important is the things that you really, really love the most, yeah. I would say Katie, because I think in reality, um, for me personally, in my opinion, I would think that Katie wouldn't really have taken a second chance with Matt. I think after he left, that I think that should have hurt us so much that she shouldn't or don't want to see him ever again, don't want to even want to talk to him or anything. So I think um, when people see that Katie, that, that kind of make them like, whoa, okay, um, that's kind of different. It's different, but I mean, everyone is different, so yeah. You see in movies when they when you work with a director, the director's like strict and he yells and he says things and do that, do that. But working with the director was not nothing like that. He knew what he wanted. When he was happy with something, he told you he was happy. He didn't uh, make you feel bad. He didn't make you feel like you were crap. You didn't do a bad job. He always made you uh, feel like you did good. The first day uh, when I was shooting, we were shooting in Kalinan. 
where we were doing the arrival scene, where I was supposed we were supposed to now say our lines and walk, and I accidentally ste stepped on the camera, the the pipe thing, yeah, and I felt so awkward. I was like, everyone's looking at me, so I felt weird. Yeah. <laughs> So that was my worst experience. I felt really awful. And also the times where I forgot my lines, just a small line, like one line. I felt awful. Yeah. Best moment it would be, I don't know, the time at the reunion where I said my one line, everyone was laughing at that one line. It really made me feel good inside. Uh, I felt like I belong here. This is what I must do. Because as soon as I say that one line, people laughed and I said, this is who I belong. This film has a great, a great, great life lesson. I think everyone should watch this because this life lesson, because there's a lot of dreamers out there that think, yeah, I can make it big, I can do this, whatever. But it's not always that. They should watch this movie because this film will show them that it's not all that glamorous.